it's been nearly 21 hours of filibuster on this issue. It's quite straightforward. The majority of members on the committee have asked for the Prime Minister's Chief of Staff, Katie Telford, to appear at this committee and testify on the briefings that she received on foreign interference in the 2019 and 2021 elections. Now, this request from opposition members was precipitated by reporting in Global News and the Globe and Mail based on their sources with the Canadian Security Intelligence Service that detail the attempts of the communist regime in Beijing to funnel money and influence and resources into specific writings, writings that they were targeted to affect the outcomes of our democratic processes. This is obviously unacceptable that a foreign state would engage in that. Conservatives have called for an open, public, transparent inquiry. And concurrently with that, we're looking for the most senior non-elected person who works in this place, the right hand to the Prime Minister who received those briefings, his Chief of Staff. This is the same person that the Prime Minister is, has said to have told members of his caucus that if, if you're talking to her, it's the same as talking to him. But we're going to eclipse the 24-hour mark in this filibuster today, likely, and Canadians want that cover-up to end. They want the filibuster to end uh, we should vote on the sub-amendments and the amendments, vote on the main motion. As I often will tell my children, just because you get your say doesn't mean you get your way. And I think that we've seen over 20-plus um, over hours that everyone has had the opportunity to get their say. I won't go over two minutes and 30 seconds uh, with this intervention um, because uh, I think all that needs to have been said has been said. Uh, let's get to a vote. Here, here.